All right, today we're going to make this sound. I'm so good at ARPs. Um, it's not this. This was me making it, really. Okay, so we're going to make it from scratch. Here's what I'm going to do. It's going to be done in Serum. Massive. I've never done it in Harmor, but we're going to do it anyways, or try. Okay, so you need a square wave. We're going to take your first LFO, modulate it here like this, and we're going to attach it to the octaves, and we're going to drag this down to 12. The 12 basically means one octave. It's not doing anything though, so if we envelope this... Now, why isn't it doing anything? This was happening to me earlier, too. What? Okay, there we go. And then, um, I guess it needs to be higher than that. So actually don't put it to, f put it to like 14 or something, I guess. Something higher than 12, maybe. I thought 12 would have worked. Um, then we're gonna add this LFO to the volume. On envelope mode, on... On eights. Yeah, and then we're gonna add a filter. Now this one just sounds so much better. Oh wait, hang on, did I add any effects or anything to it? I have to figure out why this one sounds so much better. This might help, but I couldn't see it doing too, too much. So, hang on, we'll try, we'll try. And then if I can't figure it out, then, um, I don't know. So we're going to FX, Hyper, Distortion, uh, EQ, and then compress, if you want to EQ it, that is, and then, um, like, reverb and delay as, as usual. So, we're in a hyper. I'm not going to look at the EQ yet. Just yet. Oops. Let's get on eights and dotted on how that go.
There we go. Yeah, add these effects and you can uh, EQ out whatever you want here. With the EQ, I don't actually use it though, so it doesn't need to be there. I would EQ this afterwards and such. I would actually only use hyper and distortion and everything else would just be off. And that's how you make it. So let's go make it in massive. That's not how you spell massive, silly. So we want a square. Maybe we click new sound. And uh, what we're gonna do is right away get some reverb going. And then we're gonna go ahead and take LFO anyone Put on the stepper, raise the first one to 12, the value of 12, add that to the pitch, go up, do some pitch or some envelope here on the volume. You can make leads out of this too if you wanted to. We'll actually add some brighter. Put the reverb over here. Although you'd have to do You'd have to modulate the rate so the rate would stop after. Um, the rate would have to like turn off after you after the modulation of the start has been completed, then you had to pitch it down again. If you wanted it to have like a lead sound to it. But yeah, we're just gonna do this, and then we're gonna do the envelope. We're gonna throw this on here. Throw on a scream filter. There you go. Oh yeah, I don't have a broader one. Yeah, there you go. I was just doing nothing at the end there. Basically just a square wave and then the one octave pitch mod on the stepper that's just got like a straight down slope. And um, max rate, put on a scream filter and envelope it. Put on some distortion. And yeah, and now let's try Harmer. We're gonna start with a square. And um, let's go about this the traditional way. Edit the articulator of the pitch. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw an envelope that looks like this.
No, not like this. We're going to take this and put it all the way up. Draw an envelope like this. So this, hang on. Right here. Sorry, this was the starting line, this darker one here. That's the starting line. I was just being weird. So it's going to go like that. Although this is a bit fast, or not fast enough, actually. That's what I meant to say. So this is so this one might take like personal tweaking of sorts. Come on. You're gonna have to take off snap. And do this one really. Make sure like your first value, I guess, is pasted it all in. Everything's pasted in properly. Just because you can use the end and start stuff, but you can move around the stuff in the middle and then just make sure the value is accurate afterwards. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And then we're going to put a low pass articulation on here. You could try the pluck op option. I don't really like how that's working though, so I like to use this better. And do whatever you want here, and then we'll throw on some distortion. You could add some compression, then throw on reverb. Oh yes, I forgot to do the volume envelope. Let's draw one of those out here. And with enough tweaking, it will sound more or less the same. Yep, there you go.